Okay guys, here's my friend's house. He's not home right now, so I want to set up a prank. So let's go ahead and try to do this. All right, here we go. We're inside the house. Why was I even going to know? Oh my god, the alarm went off. What the heck? What is this? It's flashing red. What is that sound? Hey, what's up my fellow twisters? Welcome back to another redstone tutorial. Today, we are taking a look at an intruder alarm. This alarm adds in a bit of extra security into your home as well as it's pretty fun to look at. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the original concept for this build was created by Mr. Crayfish. I will link his video down below. However, my build is slightly different. He uses a audio alarm while I use both an audio and a visual alarm using colored beacons. Basically guys, there is different colored beacons for being deactivated, activated, and triggered. And I think that's a great way, just in case you don't have the sounds on Minecraft turned up too much, which I think was the issue with his video. But it's a great design and credit goes to him because I kind of, you know, used that to create this lovely improved system. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at it. At the moment, the system itself is not turned on, as you can see, indicated by the green beacon but let's go ahead and just walk into our room and then step on this pressure plate flick that lever as you can see this redstone lamp will turn on and our beacon will change colors to signify that the alarm is now activated now we could go ahead and actually turn this back to green or deactivate it and as you can see it works quite well all right so let's just go ahead and activate that again and walk out the door and once we walk out the door our alarm is now activated so basically anyone that walks in and steps over that pressure plate will see the alarm system go off so let's just go ahead and walk in there step over the pressure plate and once we step off of it as you can see our alarm will go off you can hear the audio in the background as well as you can see the colored beacon flashing red. I think it's a great way to indicate someone has entered your home. If you're far away from your house and you can't hear that audio, you can definitely see that beacon flashing. And I do have shaders, so let's just go ahead and turn that off. Shaders doesn't allow you to see the beacon color properly. And as you can see, if you're really far away, you're definitely going to see that red beacon flashing up into the sky. Now to turn this system off, it's kind of tricky and I built my house kind of weird, but basically you have to go ahead and flick the lever when it is on the red color so basically let's just go ahead and do that and just wait for it and boom all right there we go so i kind of missed it there but if you guys do miss it when it's on the red color you can just flick it twice and it will change back to green so uh yeah basically if it does not change back to green flick it twice but if it does it you know basically resets so that's pretty much how it works guys and there's really no way of improving that but it's a pretty neat system now let's go ahead and take a look at how to build this all right so here we are in a four by four by three deep hole now let's go ahead and add in the redstone that we need we place on a block on this corner right over here with a bit of redstone dust on top of that another block on top of that then we grab ourselves a wooden pressure plate or any pressure plate of your choice place it over there to activate our system once we have that we place down a dropper facing this way with a hopper on the face of that we place down a random block of our choice or item of our choice into this dropper then we place down a sticky piston facing down right over here with a block of redstone on the face of that a block over here three bits of redstone dust right over there we place down a redstone comparator coming out of this dropper going towards this direction we place down a block over here we place down a hopper going into that block and then destroy this block and then place down a hopper going into this hopper by shift so there we go, it should, should basically go back and forth and allow the system to kind of take an item from here and put it into there endlessly. Now what we need to do is basically grab ourselves an item of our choice, yet again place it into one of these item hoppers, only place down one single item. After you did that, destroy a 2x2 two two area on this side, also three blocks deep. Destroy two blocks over here, place down our two note blocks right over there with two blocks right over here, and then two comparators go going into those blocks and that will create the audio section of our alarm now if you want to add in a bit of extra sound and make it a bit louder you can destroy this side destroy the block down there and place down a note block over here 
or actually over there with a block on top of that. All right, so that's going to give you a bit of extra sound, like I mentioned. Now we can move on with adding in the rest of the redstone. To do this, we want to place down some redstone dust on top of these hoppers, and we do that by shift and right clicking just like that. As you can see, it is now on top of the hoppers. The next thing we need to do is place down a block over here with a redstone repeater going into a block on top of this redstone comparator. Yet again, shift and right click, and that is basically the Mr. Crayfish part of this design. Now it is time to modify it and add in that visual aspect. And to do this, we need to dig back seven blocks on all of these sides and then dig it one block into the ground. So after I do that, I will show you guys what we need to do. All right, so like I said, we needed to extend this back area by seven blocks, but I also extended this side by one and yet again, one block into the ground. Now it is time to add in our beacon block swapper and to do this, we place down a block right over here. Then we place down a redstone repeater coming out of that. This will be activated by our comparator system. Now we need to place down a block right in front of that redstone repeater with a sticky piston facing towards the back, just like that. Now what we need to do is come right below the block that is on the face of the sticky piston. Say for instance it's this stone block and then we need to go ahead and dig down one, two, and then three and four. So let's just go ahead and dig out this area right in the ground. This is going to be the spot where our beacon is going to sit. So let's just go ahead and do that. And basically we grab ourselves some iron blocks, place it down in that hole in that three by three area in order to activate the beacon. Grab ourselves a beacon, place it facing up just like that. We place down a sticky piston facing up right on top of that beacon by shift and right clicking. As you can see, since the beacon is a transparent block, it acts much like glass and the beacon just flashes right through it. All right, so the next thing we need to do is go ahead and grab ourselves another block of our choice and then fill out some of these areas in the back just like that. We need to place down a block up like this and a block up like that with a space in between those blocks. Grab ourselves a redstone repeater, place down a redstone repeater coming from this block going into our sticky piston do the same thing on the other side and then place down sticky pistons on top of these blocks facing towards the middle on either end then we grab ourselves some more redstone repeaters place two down over here one down over here two down over there and then set this to three ticks set this one to three ticks as well this one to four that one to four this one to zero zero and zero we place down a block over here there we come around this side destroy the block over here place down a redstone torch and and we'll activate two of these sticky pistons. Now we need to place down redstone dust right between these two blocks redstone dust all along there and then one over here and that's going to be our block swapper. Now what we need to do is grab ourselves our colored stained glass, the red and the lime, place down the red at the top and then the lime on this side and when the system is activated as you can see the block will swap and then this will also allow it to like move back and forth. All right so we want to make sure that the off state is the red and the on state is the green because the on the deactivated mode is like you know powered redstone. All right so now what we need to do yet again is grab a block of our choice and then uh, build out a couple blocks over here if you so choose grab yourselves a redstone repeater some redstone dust and just link up the system together and that should basically be it and if you go ahead and come out come on over to this side i did place on a block over here with a redstone lamp nothing too complicated we go ahead and just uh, stand on this pressure plate Flick this lever, activate the system, our block swap to the red stained glass, we step off of it, and then when we step back on, as you can see, our sticky piston will now move back and forth, creating that visual alarm. Now to turn it off yet again, you have to wait until it's on, I think I said the clear one, so let's just go ahead and do that. As you can see, when it's on the clear one and you flick it directly on time, it will bypass that double lever flick and just go back to the um you know off state so yeah that's basically how we do that guys and that is the modified system hopefully it was not too complicated i basically combined mr crayfish's design with a block swapper and beacon system so anyways guys that basically wraps up today's redstone tutorial i hope you enjoyed it if you did please take one second to smack the like button as well as leave a comment down below suggest another redstone tutorial you would like to see on the channel as well as you could answer the following question if you could have any personal security guard 
Who would you choose and why? It could be anything from a guard unicorn to someone from World of Warcraft. I mean, it's up to you. I just want to see some of your answers. I think it might be fun. Anyways, guys, this was Twist, and I'll see you all next time.